Jay from FM User, and today I am honored to bring you the installation video of CP100. What you see now is the two main large antenna elements and you can see that there is C, D, A and B. This is where we connect the small antenna elements and what you see now is where we connect the cable. So the next step is you connect the two large antenna elements together and you can see that this is where we put the screw in. So what you see is I'm holding these four small antenna elements, which is A, B, C, and D. But you need to pay attention to, uh, before you set up the antenna, you need to adjust the frequency. So I'm going to take C as an example. This is where we adjust the frequency. The first step is loose the screw and Put this aside and you can see there's many frequency you can choose. Um, so you choose your favorite frequency such as 19A and 20. you put this screw back to where it was and spin it. until you can spin no more. So you see there is a nothing aid frequency. So before you set up the antenna, such as CP100, you need to adjust the elements to the same frequency, such as 19A to A, B, C, and D. So what you're going to do next is to find the C and D Antenna element. Uh, we're going to start with C. Make sure you find the right place C to C. And then we find the screw and spin it in. Make sure you find the right, right place to fix this antenna element in, like D to D. And you find the screw and spin it in. Uh, the next step we are going to do is to put this one into here. This is used to fix uh, the whole antenna and we put this right in if you can, if you can find it, you can fit this right in here. You may spin this screw and lose it until you find the right place. So, except for just this screw, you may also adjust this. You can push up and push down so that you can find the most preferable place. So this might be the last step of the installation of the antenna. You spin this nut from top to the bottom. Spin it until you can spin no more. So after we assemble up all these antenna elements together, you may find a place to set up this CP100. Uh, you may find this in the package. Uh, this is used to fix the CP100. 
So you put this across this line and put it right here. If you find you can't put it right here, you may lose the screw. And now I'm I'm going to do is to tighten it up. So you may also find this in the package. All you have to do is to spin out the nut. And these two components. And put this right here. So all you have to do is put this right here. And find this two and this. Put it in the right place. Spin this nut in. And do all the same to the other four holes. So these are the tools we're gonna use in the installation of the cable and, and the connector. This one. This see is the anesthetic tape. And this one is the electrical tape. And this one is the waterproof glue. So the first step is to apply this glue on the connector. After we're applying the glue, then we connect the cable with the connector. The next step is to apply this anesthetic tape on the antenna. Make sure you make this anesthetic tape tight on the antenna. So that is how it looks like after we connect the cable and the connector. Make sure this anesthetic tape is tight on the connector as well as the cable from top to the top to the bottom and this is the electrical tape that's how you use it apply it on the anti-static tape make sure it's tight on the anti-static tape. And that's how it looks like after you finish the installation. So I guess I finished the installation of CP100. Check this out. And welcome to follow us at our website, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time. Goodbye.